hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC how to search or filter records using radio button with entity framework and here we got the output how to search filter records from database using radio button with entity framework and selecting female now in this table the female has only one which is Chetrika. Let's search that one. And see here we got the female records. Let's check the male records. Male. He got the records only the gender male. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC application. Go to file, new project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is MVC search RV radio button. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm selecting MVC. And here the MVC application is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding ADO.NET Entity Data Model. Right click the project name. Add ADO.NET Entity Data Model. I'm selecting that one. The model name is Radio Button. Click OK. And from the model contents, I'm selecting the first option. Next. I'm adding new connection. The server name of SQL Server. After adding SQL Server name, I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB test connection. We succeeded. Okay, okay. And here we got the connection string. And the connection string name is a sample db entities and I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file. Click next. And from the selected database objects, I'm expanding the tables dbo. For this demo purpose, I'm using the table name is a new user range. I'm selecting that one. Click finish. And here we got the data model new user edge is added to our project and which contains these are the table columns so before adding the controller to this project first we'll check the table and the column names this is a table we have added to our project with the adword.net entity model and which contains id username u email user password data birth gender and user image my aim is I want to filter the records based on the gender, male or female. Let's switch over to the MVC application. Let's create a controller, minimizing the references folder. I'm creating a new controller in the controllers folder. Right click the controllers, add controller. I'm selecting MVC for controller empty, add. The controller name is search RB radio button add and here we got our controller now in this controller I'm adding the index method string search gender is the object I'm adding the connection string which is a database context sample db entities sd is equals to new sample db entities after that i'm adding list class in this list class i'm adding the entity model which is a new user of edge creating the object new user registration is equals to sd dot 
I'm adding new user table object dot to list method. The return view as the dot the property new user reg dot where class x dot I want to search with the column gender dot starts with the string value is this object search gender or search gender double equals to now dot to list method that's it we have done the complete coding part to fetch the records based on the gender now let's build the solution before adding the index view page and here we got a message the project build succeeded let's close this output message box highlight the index right click that one add view the view name is index only and the template I'm selecting the list template the model class the entity model is a new user reg data context class is a sample DB entities click add and here we got our index view page also first in this view page I'm adding center tag h1 mvc how to search filter records from database using radio button with entity framework horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding it using HTML dot begin form method In the begin form method the first parameter I'm adding the object the index view page the first parameter is a view page which is an index and the second parameter is a controller name which is a string so I'm adding the double quotes the controller name is a such RB copy that one I'm placing here and a form method dot get because we have written the code in the get method Now in the curly braces, I am adding the radio button controls at HTML dot radio button. This radio button takes two parameters. One is the string name. Between these double quotes, I am adding the such gender object, comma. The value is M. Span tags mail and second radio button is a female F. the last control I'm adding is a button control input type is equals to submit value is equals to such now in this index view page and notice here the p tags action link which I don't require as well as I'm copying this closing bracket and center tag adding at the bottom and I'm deleting the action links edit details and delete those are I don't require that's it we have done the complete coding part but before run this application the most important thing is we need to change the controller name in the route config file open solution explorer 
app underscore start expand that one route config.cs and notice here the controller name is the home let's delete that one our controller name is a search rb copy here and add in the controller and the action result is the index page this one that's it let's check the results google chrome and here we got the output how to search filter records from database using radio button with entity framework and selecting female now in this table the female has only one which is chetrika let's search that one and see here we got the female records let's check the male records male you got the records only the gender male that's it